We have all no doubt heard of EXIF data, which stands for Exchangeable Image File Data. And this is the um, information that is supplied with every image from your camera when you take that photograph. For example, it will show the ISO, it will show the shutter speed, the aperture, the F number. Um, and all sorts of data about your camera and what have you. But not many people realize that that's actually accessible from within Windows. Um, if, if we go to your own image, let's open up pictures, for example, for the moment. And we'll go to Gadrivi. And let's find a nice image. Oh, I don't that one will do. If we right click on it, come down to properties, click on properties, go to details, then there's all your EXIF data here. So if we scroll down you can see what we've got here, we've got the image file size, we've got the dots per inch, we've got the color format, and then the next section down is about the camera, we've got the camera, we've got the model number, which is my mobile phone as a matter of interest, what F number was used, what the shutter speed was, what the ISO was, all that sort of information which is quite interesting to have. Further down we've got other bits and pieces which are interesting as well. But what a lot of people don't realize is although there's some parts of it you can alter, for example I could alter the camera by just deleting that, I could alter the model number by just deleting that just in case you needed to put something a bit more generic in. Um, up here there's bits that you can add. For example, we could give it a title by just deleting day and typing what you want. We could give it a subject. We could rate the image. Let's say we quite like it. Let's say we give it three out of five. Just click anywhere else. Oh, didn't go up. Three out of five. There we go. Um, then we can give it a tag. We can give it a comment. But the thing I like here is author. You can put in author and you can put in a copyright which saves you having to put a little C on your image and your name which rather tends to spoil and take away from the image. So you can just put your name in there, come down here, put your name in the copyright. If we go further down the image, down here. For example, let's say we're using a manual lens on the camera and it's not giving us the information here because the camera doesn't recognize the manual lens as being part of itself, then we can put that in um, completely independently. So say I was, I was using a, a, an old manual lens from a film camera onto, well in this case it was the phone, I couldn't use it on that, but onto my normal camera. Then I can put the name of the maker of the lens, we can put the, what model it was, say a tw whatever the focal length was or something like that. If we're using an auxiliary flash, which again isn't part of the camera, uh, but a, a separate model, then we can add that detail, we can add the model number, and all sorts of things like that which you can find and change. And once you've done it, all you have to do is press apply and all that information is kept never to be uh, taken off unless you decide to do it um, i do believe that nobody else can do that i hope you find that interesting